One, two, three, four, one, two. Pacino impression at the end. Now we will start learning the song. Okay, this is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. It was not an Al Pacino impression. That was a Robert De Niro impression, clearly. Squinty eyes is Robert De Niro. Al Pacino is... <laughs> no, that's not it at all. Okay, let me try for real. Yeah, Al Pacino. It was Al Pacino. <laughs> Guys, you know how when you look up a recipe online and they tell you about how they, when they were a kid, they had a red wagon that they loved and they used to have tea parties outside and you're like, why are you telling me this? Show me how to make the fried lasagna. And then, and then it's awful and you just end up finding a different recipe entirely because they're wasting so much time talking about their childhood. This is like that to the extreme. What is, imagine, okay, okay, sorry. Sorry, just really quick. Imagine that you looked up a recipe for like pumpkin pie and they started doing Al Pacino impressions in the recipe. Okay. Maybe actually this is a good idea. Body Snatchers by Radiohead. Drop D tuning. So that means most of the strings are totally normal tuning, but the top string you tune down one full step to D. Let's learn this main riff, which makes up the bulk of the song, you guys. Please. Place your pointer finger on the ninth fret of the second string from the top. You want the top string to be open, but it would be great if your pointer finger was kind of touching and muting the rest of the strings. So use kind of the sort of the pad of your pointer finger to play that ninth fret on the second string from the top. And that way your finger just touches the other strings, but it doesn't push on them. It just mutes them, people of the world, friends and relatives. You're gonna strum up on this chord, I recommend that when you strum up, you aim for just the top two or three strings because then if you are not properly muting the other strings, it's okay because you just won't be strumming them anyway. You're gonna strum up, then slide your pointer finger up to the 10th fret and strum up again. Then I use my ring finger to play 12 on the second string from the top. And well, that's okay. Hi, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Every note has been on the second string from the top. So I don't know why I emphasized that word. Use your ring finger to play 12 on the second string from the top and you're gonna strum up again. So we've got nine, 10, 12. We're strumming up on each of those. However, in between each of those, you kind of want to just smack your hand down onto the strings, getting ready for the next strum up. So it goes like this. Up, up, up. Do it with, okay. We're going to kind of micromanage this first main riff because it gives us the rhythmic foundation for the entire song. And then, and then there'll be smooth smealing from there and on out. So we go one, two, three. But, oh, and also, okay, one more thing. It doesn't start right on the first beat. It, this song starts on the and of two. So that means when we count it off, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, oh, oh. Like after I say two, we start. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, oh, oh. Great job. After you strum up with your finger on 12, you're not gonna smack the strings. You're just gonna strum up again, still on 12. So now we've got nine, 10, 12, 12. Immediately after that last strum up with your pointer finger, play 10 on the top string and play that top string down with your pick. Hammer on to 12. So that means you hold your pointer finger there on 10, but then with your ring finger, smack the string on the 12th fret, then go down to the second string from the top, play 10 with your pointer finger, pluck down, and then hammer on to 12 on the second string from the top. So that was like, two, three, four, 
Two, three, four, flip. Great job. Then your pointer finger goes down to the third string from the top and plays the 10th fret. And you're gonna strum down on that. Then go to 12 with your ring finger, but it's not gonna be a hammer on. You're just gonna put your finger on 12 and strum up. So that last little part we just did was hammer, hammer, down, up. Play it with me. One, two, three, four, go. Let's put it all together from the top. I don't want to count one, two, three, four, one, two every time. So I'm just going to go one, two, ba, ba, ba. So you have to be ready. One, two, uh, uh, uh. One, two. You weren't ready that time. I could do it at any point. Be ready. One. This is stupid. You're stupid. I'm talking to, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the person behind you. If there's someone behind you, not you. I'm, I am talking to the person in front of you. I'm just trying to make sure not to offend anyone. Hey guys, um, what's something that was funny that I could say right now that would sound really offensive, but it wouldn't actually offend anyone? Um, I think dogs are all racist. After you strum up on that 12th fret on the third string from the top, you're just gonna strum up on the exact same note, and then immediately after that, slap the strings again, and that completes the main riff. Like, so now we've, I've, I've told you all of the notes and the strumming for this main riff, but I don't feel like we've really learned it yet. I think we need to practice it a little bit more. Let's play the whole thing very slowly from the beginning. One, two, up, up, up. Hammer, hammer, down, up, up, smack. How'd you do? Did you do great? You, you may have noticed that my hand is just going like wacko, wacko, doom, doom. Instead of like, I'm not going in and carefully playing the individual strings. It's because for each note I'm playing over here, I'm trying really hard to mute all the strings I'm not playing. So what that means is I'm not using the tip of my finger. I'm laying my finger kind of kind of flat down so it touches all the other strings and then also when I go down to the second string from the top and the third string from the top my thumb comes up and touches the top string to mute it it's gonna take a lot of repetition and a little bit of finagling to figure out exactly how to mute all the strings but here's the big thing I would like you to really focus on I would like you to focus on keeping this pendulum motion going with your arms. Watch, well, I said arms. It's only one arm. You don't have both arms doing this. This arm is doing its thing. This arm is going like this, like a pendulum would. Watch Thomas York play any song. He's almost always just going like this. Even if he has the most complicated rhythm, his hand is just going like this. And he's just being careful about when he actually hits the strings and he's making sure to mute a lot of strings with his left hand. That was a convoluted mess of a thing that I just said. Okay, let's play the whole riff those times in a row. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two. You're doing great. We're, we're going to have some more time to practice it. But let me show you the next little thing that happens. So we do that exact riff twice in a row. Then you act like you're going to start it a third time, but we go like this. We go 9, 10, 15. So my ring finger goes all the way up to 15, and then everything else is exactly the same. So it's 9, 10, 15. Then we start the riff again. This time we go 9, 10, 14. And then everything else is exactly the same. Um, those like four repetitions. So we do it twice where we go up to 12. Then we do it once where we go up to 15. And then once where we go to 14. That is actually the main riff. I told you that we completed the riff a little bit earlier, but that was a bald-faced lie. What does that mean, bald-faced lie? You know, every expression that exists in the English language, and I presume in other languages as well, is really weird. It's a bald-faced lie. Let's play the whole entire main riff. One, two, two. I wasn't ready that time. Shucks. Get ready. One, 
two, nine, ten, twelve. Again, nine, ten, twelve. Then up to fifteen, fifteen. That is the main riff. That is also the introduction to the song Body Snatchers by Radiohead. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to say this so long ago. Guys, if you go to marinmusic.com, there is a free course for learning how to play bar chords good. I said the grammar incorrectly on purpose because I thought it would be funny, but it just sounded ignorant to play them well. I'm doing well today. Thank you. How are you, kind sir or madam? Okay, got that out of the way. MarineMusic.com. It's free. Have a free time at your free birthday party. Why am I... This is out of the rails. Off the rails is another expression that... Well, that doesn't make sense. It's like if a train goes off the rails and everyone's going to die. So what I meant to say is, ah, oh, everyone's going to die. Technically, we are all going to die. However, let me tell you this. It is now time to move on to the verse of the song Body Snatchers by Radiohead. The verse is the same as the intro. You just play that intro riff, but you play it two times in a row. Done. Then we move on to the chorus of the song. Now, the chorus is pretty much the same thing as well, um, but what I like to do, especially if I'm playing the song all by myself, is I add this little octave thing in for the chorus, where I go like this. <laughs> good right so uh so uh, okay so you play the riff two times for the verse then the chorus actually starts like in the middle of the riff it's a little bit weird so what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the totally normal riff one half of the way through you're gonna go 9 10 12 9 10 12 then the chorus officially starts right in the middle of the riff when he sings, uh, what does he sing? I have no idea what I'm talking about or something like that. I think that's what he sings. And here's what you're gonna do at that point in time. You're going to play the ninth fret on the second string from the top, just like before, but then you're gonna add your ring finger to the 11th fret of the third string from the bottom. And you're gonna strum, the strumming is exactly the same, but you just have that extra finger there and you're gonna strum up. Then you go up to 10 and your ring finger goes up to 12. Then we go all the way up to 15 with the pointer finger, which means the ring finger is on 17 of the third string from the bottom. You do the hammer on thing the same. Then we go back to the nine and 11 and we go to 14 and 16. And then we start the riff again. This time we do that little octave thing every single time. Here, let me, I know that was a little confusing. Let me show you what the chorus is all the way through. You, you can play along if you'd like, or you can just sit back, relax, and listen. One, two. <laughs> feel about it? Did you feel good about it? Great. Um, I'm not going to play it again to practice with you right now. We're just going to move on to the interlude. I love the interlude to the song, you guys. After you do all that, the interlude goes as follows. <laughs> second verse. Okay, let me show you how to play that. What you're going to do is you act like you're just starting the regular verse over again, but instead of playing 9, 10, 12, you're going to put your pointer finger on 7 of the second string from the top and your ring finger on 9 of the third string from the bottom. You strum up, then you go up to 9, no, don't do that. You go up to 8 and 10 
strum up, then go up to 10 and 12. So we're keeping that same, I call this the octave shape because check this out really quick. This note right here is a G. This note right here is also a G, but one is higher than the other. What gives? When you have the same note, but one is higher and one is lower, those are called octaves. The same note in different registers and this shape that we're making, always makes an octave on the guitar. So that's why I'm calling it the octave riff. Now you know. Guys, seven, eight, ten. And then instead of doing this, we're gonna go like this. We go. So what that was, was I did a hammer on from seven to eight on the top string. Then I did a hammer on from seven to eight on the second string. Then I went back to seven on the second string and then back to eight on the top string. So I went down, 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 up. So that's down, hammer, down, hammer, down on the seventh fret of the second string from the top, then up on eight of the top string. Then you're gonna strum up on eight of the top string again. I know, that's confusing, but check it out. We're gonna play it together a few times. We're gonna go two, three, four, two, three, four, one more time, whip. Great. Now let's combine that with the first part of the interlude. So we're going to go seven, eight, ten. Brace yourselves, here we go. I'm gonna count to two and then we're gonna start. One, two. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. A little bit, let's do it one more time, a little bit slower. One, two. that twice in a row like that then you're gonna go back to the octave shape on seven of the second string from the top strum up, then go to eight and ten strum up then you're gonna go to five on the second string from the top and seven on the third string from the bottom and go up, up smack up, up smack up, up smack okay let's take it let's take it from that last part we're gonna go seven eight five five smack five Five smack, five, five smack. I'm gonna count to two, get ready. One, two, uh, uh. Five, five smack, five, five smack, five, five smack. Five, five smack. Then you start that interlude riff over again. So we go five, five smack, five, five smack, five, five smack, seven, eight, ten. works guys but we're not gonna play it all the way through we play it oh no we do we play it all the way through twice we play it all the way through twice 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 tricycles twice tri bicycles twice twice bikes trucks bikes bicycles bicycle twice twice and dice and slice and dice shake and bake i handled that very well we play that interlude riff twice all the way through then we go into the second verse which is exactly the same as the first verse, except we only play the riff once instead of playing it twice. Let's, it's, it's a little tough going from the interlude to the verse, so let's practice it together. We're gonna play the interlude all the way through, both times, and then through the verse riff one time. I'm gonna count, only count to two, get ready. One, two. <laughs>
great job. I'm pretty proud of the way that you played it, the way that your fingers were and the sound of the guitar. They meshed together in a way that created music, presumably. Then we go into the second chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus. You just do that octave riff twice in a row, and that's it. Then we go back into the interlude. So the interlude is the part we just learned, where we went uh, seven, eight, ten. But we're not gonna play through the whole thing this time. We're gonna go like this. The second interlude is just seven, eight, ten. Hammer, hammer, and eight. Seven, eight, ten. And then you stop right there, and we go into the bridge to the song. So we leave out the part where we go five, 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 five. That just doesn't exist in the second interlude. Let's learn the bridge. Let's see, there's actually two bridges and an ending. So, okay, actually, let's do this really quick, guys. We are done with the main riff at this point. So the form of the song up until now has been intro is the main riff once, then the verse, main riff twice, then the chorus, which is the main riff with the octave twice. Then we go into the interlude, which is that whole thing we did with the seven and the eights. So we do that twice. Then we go into the second verse, which is the main riff once. Then we go into the second chorus, which is the octave riff, twice. Then we go into the second interlude, which is that uh, 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 that thing, but we only play the first two thirds of it, and then we move in to the bridge. Let's play the bridge. Guys, bridge goes like this. One, two, three, by the way, okay, I don't know how often I do that in my videos. I like, usually I cut it out, but I do do this little, this tiny, See bitsy little lick on my fingertips when my fingers are really dry. It's a little chilly here in California. Not really. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's like 56 degrees. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? 56 degrees. Oh, I was right on. Um, and my hands get very dry. Okay, I don't know. I just felt self-conscious about the fact that I licked my fingers. Bridge goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Not that bad. Ring finger plays the fifth fret on the top string. Your pointer finger plays the third fret on the third string from the bottom. But here's the thing. Your ring finger needs to mute the second string from the top and the third string from the top. So you can see I'm laying my ring finger down pretty flat. So then it's playing the top. Next one is muted. Next one is muted. Ugh, it's muted now. And then, then the pointer finger plays third fret on that third string from the bottom. And then ideally, your ring finger and or pointer finger are also muting the bottom two strings. So it's just these two notes. Like that. It's gonna be a little sloppy like mine is. That's my rationalization. I can say it's okay if it sounds bad. Guys, here's the strumming for the bridge. We're gonna strum up, up, smack, up, up, smack, up, up, smack, up, up, smack. One, Two, here we go. Up, up, smack, up, up, smack, up, up, smack, up, up, smack. How many times was that? It was one, two, three, four. So you do that four times. Then you take this exact same little shape with your fingers and you move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frets up. So now ring fingers on 12, pointer fingers on 10. You do four up, up smacks on this 12, 10 chord thingamajig. Then we're gonna switch to this guy. So you do middle finger plays 10 on the top string, ring finger plays 10 on the third string from the bottom. Make sure your middle finger is muting all the other strings. You're gonna strum, this one you only do three. You go up, up, smack, up, up, smack, up, up, smack. Then you're gonna get rid of your ring finger and put your pointer finger on nine of the third string from the bottom and just do one up, up, smack. So this 10, nine chord took the place of the fourth 10, 10, up, up, smack. Oh, that was a weird thing I just said. This 10, nine chord takes the place of the fourth 10, 10, up, up, smack. It made sense in context though, right? Okay, so we were on uh, five and three, 
four times, then 12 and 10 four times, then 10 and 10 three times, then 10 and nine just one time. Then we go back to five and three, the one we started with. We do that one three times. Then take this chord shape and move it one, two frets up. So you're on five, uh, seven and five and do just one up, up smack on this one. Let's play through that whole part. You'll see what I'm doing. We start with five and three. One, two, here we go. Up, up, smack, up, up, smack. Three, four, and switch. Two, three, four, switch. Up, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Then start, then you start it over, guys, and we do that entire thing four times in a row, cuatro, that's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. That's what we're gonna call bridge part one. We just did it. Well, then we move on to bridge part two. We keep the same strumming, but the chords are a little bit different. Let's see if I can remember it. One, two, three, four. Bridge part two goes like this. Middle finger, third fret on the top string. Your middle finger is also gonna lean down and mute the second string from the top, and it would be great if it, if it could mute the third string from the top as well. Then your pointer finger plays two on the third string from the bottom, and your pointer finger, you want it to mute the bottom two strings. You're gonna strum up, up, smack, up, up, smack, just two times, then you switch to five on the top string and three on the third string from the bottom. Up, up, smack, up, up, smack, two times again. All of these chords are two times. Then we go to one on the top string and three on the second string from the bottom. So my pointer finger is muting all the strings except for the top string that it's pushing on. Then Pinky's pushing on three on the second from the bottom. Up, up, smack, up, up, smack. Then you're gonna play three on the second string from the top with your middle finger and two on the third from the bottom with your pointer finger. You can use your thumb to mute the top string, use your pointer finger to mute most of the other ones. Guys, just more muting business, up, up, smack. Then you go back to five on top and three on the third string from the bottom, up, up, smack, up, up, smack. Then we go back to one on top and three on the second from the bottom, up, up, smack, up, up, smack. And then we go to six on the top string and five on the third string from the bottom. This one is kind of an ugly chord. Oh, that's because, well, that time I hit extra notes. There we go. That's what it should sound like. Ah, just, it gets, the song gets a little noisy and crazy here, you guys. After you go up, up, smack, up, up, smack on this one, then you're going to do five on the top with your middle finger, five on the second string from the top with your ring finger, five on the third string from the top with your pinky, and then four on the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger. And you're just gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Yep, that was eight strums. And you do that four times in a row. Four times eight, of course, as we learned in school, is 30 something. So you strum that chord 30 something times, and then we're done with bridge part two, and we go to the ending of the song. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and play that part together. I don't want to, but let's do it. One, two, three, four. Switch. 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 Aha! That was 30 something times and also I made no mistakes. Are you ready for the ending to the song? Ending to the song goes like this. Play the top string open and then you're gonna play three on the top string. Then on the second string from the top you play open and then three. Then on the third string from the top you play two and then pull off to zero. So you're pushing on two and then you just take your finger off with a little flick like that. So watch this. Great. Then 
you immediately jump up to the top string open again. Then you wait a half of a beat and then you play open three on the top string again, open three on the second string from the top, then two, pull off to zero again. It goes like this. And you do that te literally 10,000 times while your friend and bandmate Johnny Greenwood goes That's my Johnny Greenwood impression. Do um, you want to see my Robert De Niro again? Should we do Al Pacino? Let's do Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken? I'm, this is Christopher Walken from the Radiohead saying, yeah, you, that's good. 